haven't thought about Roswell along the lines of Dennis's intent before, you know, and I've read a lot of books about Roswell and UFOs and stuff. Um, and I, I, it's never crossed my mind whatsoever that the Roswell crash could have been intentional to seed, uh, seed us with technology and stuff like that. Um, but now we've discussed it here and seeing the sessions and stuff, it's making me think, what if that is the case or was the case? And, you know, the uh, the effects that's happened from that since. Not all bad, but not maybe all good as well. Mm -hmm. um, the target's relationship with humanity. So the target, I think in this case, we're talking about the creator of the technology, could be characterized as harvesters, manipulators, and conquerors. They are intending a new day chapter creation beginning for humanity akin to walking through a door to a new planet. They seek to colonize and require obedience. Stay away, it's dangerous. Leave well alone. It's scary. These are my thoughts. It's scary and it's fascinating, but it's above my capabilities. Leave well alone. And I was told, stay away, it's dangerous. Narrow-eyed, closed, flat-brained. They called me flat-brained. They told me I was flat-brained. I couldn't understand it. Humanity being ignorant, oblivious, so idea I... of a price paid for advancement. I wrote this technology is related to energy generation. I get the sense of atmospheric elements, charge and discharge, like a supercharged fuel cell. I see a donut torus field. I see electricity and lightning and sprites associated with the technology. Ring type structures hold a charge similar to an antenna feels very green like fuelless fuel cell allows for distributed uh, electricity no emissions reminds me of tesla putting power out of the air like a generator game changer